let me tell you a story of why I'm sitting here today. So two years ago when I started my YouTube fashion channel I really enjoyed it and ever since then I was convincing my sister to create her own channel as well about something that she loves which is puzzles and as a reward I said I'm gonna buy you puzzles here and there and this time around I bought her something that she will have to complete without seeing the picture. So it's like a challenge and I'm super excited to show you what I got. So this is the puzzle that I'm talking about and don't worry, she doesn't know what it is. I locked her in a room, she cannot escape, but <laughs> I've been super nice because it has only 500 pieces. And also I think the difficulty of this one, I think it's kind of a medium. You know, I'm not a puzzle nerd like my sister is, so she keeps asking me, how difficult is it? And I'm like, I don't know. For me, this is kind of a medium. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's harder or not? I'm not sure. But that's what I'm going to be unboxing. I'm going to hide the picture and then we're just going to give her the insides. It's also from Ravensburger, which I love Ravensburger when I'm doing puzzle. I'm kind of a puzzle snob. So I got her the best of the best. And now we can unbox it together. Super satisfied. I'm not sure how to open this. I just have my nails. How does she do it? I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Now it's no turning back. <laughs> okay, so I can show you the picture one more time because now you're gonna be watching her struggling to put it together. So this is the picture. And this is the little baggie that she's gonna get. So I'm gonna just put it here and I'm just gonna go and hide this one and then we can call her in. Okay, <laughs> so I've hidden everything. Um, and this is the little baggie. I'm not sure how much you can see from it. I'm sure she's gonna show you more. She's really good with that. But yeah, we can call her now. Janet! We're gonna see. <laughs> I'm not sure. If this goes well, I can buy her a thousand puzzle next. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so, here is the puzzle and now she can tell us what she thinks. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Obviously a building of something. There's quite a lot of brown and uh, a lot of flowers. <laughs> so, yeah. It doesn't look that hard, actually. Oh my god, I thought it's a medium. I said to them they can leave a comment you know, how difficult they think it is, so... Because I don't know. And next time I can do a thousand piece puzzle and a harder image, like one color. No, no. <laughs> they know I don't do one color puzzle, so <laughs> please don't, but... Okay. No, it looks fine, actually. Yeah. Okay. Because I really expected that she's gonna try to trick me and just buy, like, literally one color puzzle, but... That... I'm not that mean. So, I think I'm gonna leave and she's gonna do the puzzle and, yeah. Nice meeting you! <laughs> Bye! So you've met my sister finally, which is great because I think she's gonna be popping into my videos quite often because anytime there's gonna be an exit puzzle or any mystery puzzles I'm gonna need her brain because she's really good at solving those. But anyway, back to the puzzle. So I figured out it's some sort of building and it's got some flowers on it. I saw a tree as well, I think, so that's slightly worrying. But other than that, I think it's going to be quite like a straightforward puzzle to do, hopefully. I've never done a puzzle without a picture like that before, so I have no idea what to expect. But on the other hand, my sister underestimated how many puzzles I know in Slovenia. So basically she allowed me to, you know, touch the box while I was having my eyes closed, obviously, and it was wrapped in a bag as well. And I knew just by the thickness of the box that it's Ravensburger puzzle because we don't have that many different companies in Slovenia that sell puzzles and all the other boxes are quite thicker so the Ravensburger is the, the one that's thinner with the 500 piece puzzle so I knew that it was that one and obviously just from looking at the bag is the same bag that is in the crypt puzzle so we already know that the quality is gonna be good so I don't think I have to do the quality check for this one so I think I'm ready to just start doing the sorting now this is gonna be exciting 
like I have no idea what to expect or how long it's gonna take me but I'm gonna write the times down so I can tell you at the end how long it took me to actually do everything so let's just get into it Okay, so honestly sorting was a lot harder than I thought it's gonna be because it's really interesting you don't have the picture to go with so it's almost like trying to sort by colors and then there's more of the same color with different textures and then it's just like what am I supposed to do with it so I kind of divided it by color and some by texture so I think I've done a good job from what I've seen so far we've got some fruits I think apples and stuff and we've got some flowers and I think there's like a car or something so from what I've seen I think we are dealing with the marketplace possibly I have no idea but anyway there's so much puzzle dust it's like if you just see my hands so much puzzle dust but I'm ready to put the frame together now so at least I'm gonna have some sort of impression like where everything is on the picture so Wish me luck because this is actually harder than what I thought it's gonna be. So the frame was fairly easy. Um, the one thing that really confused me is what I thought was actually a car turned out to be a building well the roof of the building so that's quite interesting I don't know how that happened so the good thing about having the frame now is I sort of know where something goes I still don't know what happens in the middle but I kind of know like you know where everything is so I think I'm gonna start with the sky on this one because it seems like the most obvious place to start I don't know but it's just like it feels like it's gonna be easier to do the rest once I've, I've covered a little bit of the frame well, the inside of the frame anyway. So let's go do with that. So I've done the sky and I think it's quite obvious that it's Paris but it's really weird because when I was putting it together I had it accidentally turned upside down and for some time I thought I was building like a hot air balloon so yeah quite weird but like it took me a while to realize that I have to turn it so it's Paris so that's quite cool it looks quite pretty so far so I'm really looking forward to seeing the full picture Okay, so this is where I'm at right now and it's a bit harder than I thought it's gonna be with the street and stuff. Um, I realized that I didn't know how to properly sort it because I didn't know what goes where. But anyway, I'm meeting my friends now so I'm gonna have to go because we are going for a walk and I'll finish the puzzle when I come back home. I'm back now. I spent a couple of hours with my friends and it was really nice. We went for a long walk, we went to the river and you know went puzzling inside a bit. So that was quite nice. I had something to eat as well and now I'm ready to tackle the puzzle again. So 
So the puzzle is coming together quite nicely. So far it took me I think about half an hour to get to the point where I am now without sorting. With sorting I think it's probably about 45 minutes. But I think I'm kind of doing the easier bits first because it's just taking the obvious parts out and just putting them I mean the obvious pieces out and just putting them in. Yeah, I'm not sure that was the smartest choice to do, but I don't have the pictures, so, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I think I used all of the obvious pieces now. And for me to get this puzzle done quicker, I'm just gonna go and move on to sorting by shapes. I mean, I think I could finish it the way it is now, but I wanna finish it quick, so. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot easier as well and more enjoyable, so I like to enjoy my puzzles. So yeah, sorting by shape now. The sorting is complete and I'm ready to smash it now. There's not much left, it's just the harder bits, but I still divided them by lighter pieces and by darker pieces, so it makes it a bit easier even. And yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, leave the dark ones towards the end, like I always do. The lighter bits are done, so I can confirm that I was right, there was a building in the picture. <laughs> but I still can't believe that I thought that the roof of that building was actually a car. I don't know how, but you know, just them windows at the top, they just look like the headlights to me. I don't know, it's weird. My imagination works too much. <laughs> So the puzzle is complete. It took me roughly about two hours to do it, so it wasn't too bad. Well, with the other 500 piece puzzle I had, it took me an hour and a half, but I had a picture with that one. So I think it definitely took me longer because I didn't have the picture to go with it. If I'm completely honest with you, I'm actually really surprised that my sister picked this puzzle because I genuinely thought that she's gonna try to screw me over and just bring me something insane. You know, like just some sort of patterns that you have no idea what's up, what's down, or like just maybe single, single color puzzle. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with, I think she loves me. And I think this was her way of showing it to me. But anyway, the puzzle is so small that I'm just gonna do the pickup challenge now. It's Ravensburger, so we know it's gonna hold together. But here's the puzzle, there we go. So small, I'm not used to it, but it's so cute. Yeah, so I'm quite pleased with this challenge. It went quite well, but I'm hoping that if she's gonna do a thousand piece puzzle next, that she's actually still gonna be that nice. <laughs> really hoping for that. So I still haven't seen the puzzle box, but my sister told me earlier that she forgot to mention the title of the puzzle, so I still don't know it because I have no idea where that puzzle box is. But well, I'm gonna just write it here so you can see what the title is. I must say that this was probably the most fun I had putting the puzzle together. There was something special about not knowing what you're actually putting together because it's like you're just seeing bits of pieces and you have no idea what's what and then the picture kind of starts to make sense. So this was really nice. I would probably say that this was the easiest puzzle I've done so far, but if you want to see the one that I've really struggled with and it made me want to throw it out of the window, just check this video out next. Bye!